एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टीम क्रप्टी आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो इन टू दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन डेकोरेट योर रूम विथ दिस ब्यूटीफुल आर्ट वर्क सो दिस इज मेड अप ऑफ रेजिन एंड दिस टेक्निक इज कॉल्ड रेजिन ओशन आर्ट वर्क सो आई लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू विद दिस टेक्निक फॉर दिस वीडियो एंड ऑल्सो आई फ्रिक्वेंटली यू नो रिसीव द क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग रेजिन पिगमेंट और द प्रोसेस सो आई लाइक टू डिस्कस ऑल दिस topics in this video so you have to listen very carefully and also if you are watching me for the first time hi my name is tamali and i do make videos on related to art and craft home decor diys and many more so you can subscribe my channel team crafty and don't forget to hit the bell icon so without any further ado let's begin the tutorial To make this beautiful clock, I'm going to take this MDF clock base from its bit C. Make sure whenever you are purchasing any clock base and the machine, you check all the details properly, so that you can understand what clock base need what kind of needle of the machine. So I have checked all the product and all the material which I have used in this particular video. I'm going to be listed down all the details in the description box, and don't forget to check this out. So once your base is selected, I'm going to show you what all other materials that I'm going to need. First is gesso. If you don't have gesso, black gesso, then you can use your white gesso and your acrylic color. Here I'm using the black gesso. This is also from its bit C. Next is mixed media texture paste. Next, grainy texture paste. If you don't have it, you can also use the shape it or the any kind of air dry clay like this to make beautiful beach. Also, you can use a uh, real sand. Here, I'm using that particular sand from its a bit. See, the first thing that I'm going to do, I am going to create a texture paint place where I'm going to apply the texture paste. I'm going to make a beach, so you can draw it accordingly. Also, I would like to add some rock like things. All right. So let's discuss the first question that I usually uh, receive from you guys. That what I have to choose between the resin one is to one or two is to one ratio. So the answer will be it can be depends. All right. So I usually use two is to one ratio of resin from different brand like it's a bit C, Stickal Dimega, and some local brand like Resin Store, etc. You can find one to one, three to one, and even four to one ratio resin and hardener in the market. So the difference between all this is mainly measured by the viscosity and the time which is take to cure. Basically, when we work on a smaller area or a very thin layer, we prefer to work with the one to one. The two to one will be very much thicker uh, than the one to one, and it takes almost eight to nine hours to cure. can be easily uh, worked with a small project like clock trays etc if i need to make to a table or something thick mold i will prefer to work with the 3 is to 1 which takes almost 1 uh, and 1/2 day to cure all right so here i'm using uh, this texture paste from its bit see i'm going to apply it all over my beach area all right so um as i i have already told you that you have to choose the resin which is according to your project and that one is to one resin or the uv resin is a very much easy to use especially if you are a jewelry maker then you can use it which can be cured um, within a minute or so under uv light All right, back to the tutorial part. Here in the beach area, you can create a beach texture with your, uh, you know, palette knife or uh, any kind of tool that you have. So here I'm using this particular plastic things. It is also used to create some beautiful texture in air dry clay. And also you can use uh, some real sand, which you can sprinkle on the top of it. So just follow the 
tips that i'm going to show over here all right so back to the question answer session i receive a questions like what kind of element we can dip into our resin all right so the answer will be everything <laughs> but we need to follow some basic rules uh, to each product because they are different in uh, categories like usually we add flowers it should be really dried moisture free completely and you shouldn't add uh, you know any additional color to to your flowers petal so that it can bleed on your resin the next things that i can use that is picture i have already sh uh, shown you uh, like two videos of my channel uh, where i have used the photos of us so photo should be well laminated and it the paper quality should be really really good okay so if you have any doubt with this process you can go to my playlist on the resin art you will see a lot of videos on that topic also we can use the acrylic cutouts especially in the nameplate and so so it can be customized accordingly i usually took it from an instagram account based in kolkata i will share their details in the description box as well also we can use vinyl stickers and the transparent sheet i usually do it uh, so i use it from tulsi resin store it is also an instagram page i will link down everything detailed in the description box so please watch my other resin video so that you can understand the process and uh, what kind of precautions you have to need to dip all these materials and do your resin artwork all right so here i am going to use uh, the same texture paste or the greeny paste to make this rock like things and it really really take patience and my time and i have used this silicone paint to create this texture you can use anything whatever you have So this is mixed media stones uh, it looks like a sand you can also use the real sand and i have already mentioned 
so i'm going to add it on some part of my beach and then i will let it completely dry then i color it Alright, after it is completely drying, I'm going to apply directly the black gesso. As I have mentioned that this black gesso is completely optional. If you don't have it, you can use your own gesso. And also you can top up it with a black gold color. this um, you know this matte finish of this black gesso let add some gold flecks because this can be uh, you know a pretty much similar looks with your gold sunset and I really really love it uh, it is very much versatile in your resin artwork so what I'm going to do I'm going to apply the very little amount of regular fabricals with my brush on the edges of your beach and the rocks and then I will add some gold flakes you can use the gold foil paper as well let it dry for completely at least for a, an hour and then with a dry brush you can dust it and uh, you it will look amazing
all right my base is completely ready to use the resin so the next question that i have received about all the materials that we need to for the basic resin art so let's discuss all the material the first thing obviously the art resin here i am using the two is to one resin from itsy bitsy you can use any brand that you have next is resin pigment here i'm using this uh, resin pigment from tulsi resin art and art resin vibe also i will discuss about the pigment later on <laughs> it will be a great discussions about all the pigments next things that a uh, silicone paint it is very much useful especially for the clock design you can also use it to hold it here and also you it will be very much easier to reach out to the corners it is available in amazon as well you can take this from there next thing is a uh, gloves also i have received this questions that what kind of gloves as are are essentials to make resin art so this is nitrate gloves i have this used and also this ice cream stick also you can use uh, some plastic stick if you have some plastic disposable cups like this and also we need a measuring cup uh, which can be silicone so that you can wash it and use it repeatedly and lastly the most important to make your base level so here i'm using this water leveler this i got it from a tulsi resin store what we will have to do i'm just trying to show you the water level okay here it is here it is showing in the camera i think so this water level of all the three parts should be in equal portions all right all right so make sure before pouring any kind of resin you must have to use this kind of masking tape all over the plate on the back side and now i am going to again check the labeling either it is labeled or not and when it is completely label i am ready to mix my resin mixture Here is the tips for all the beginners. Apply or wear your mask and your gloves before opening your resin bottle. Make sure your hands are safe and you are safe for this. So resin mixture, it is very much easy to mix. I'm going to take a two is to one ratio to hardener and the clean resin. So resin mixing techniques is really really easy you have to mix it until your resin mixture is become crystal clear once it is mixed crystal clearly then it, it is ready to mix the with the pigment so now um, i have received one questions regarding the pigment that what kind of pigment that you can use all right so basically the first one is of obviously resin pigment which is oil based and it is very much thick needs a very minimum one quantity and gives you a darker finish second one is powder pigment i love using powder pigment especially the pearl one which gives you a pretty shine to any of the resin mixture and also along with the color third one is the alcohol ink oh my god alcohol ink is really really easier for the beginners it can build up the colors and the intensity um, whatever it is special for you and also it just give you the glass like translucent finish i love it i love just using this alcohol ink and the fourth one is any kind of glitter particle so it is basically gives you a thick rich glittery effect along with the resin generally i use it to piping it technique uh, to make a geode art especially 
all right so my mixture resin mixture is ready i'm going to back in the tutorial process and here i am going to use this ice cream stick to mix my resin okay you have to be very much accurate to your resin proportion it should be very very accurate so another some tips for the beginners keep an isopropyl alcohol spray or you can keep your uh, you know spray hand sanitizer handy to you to remove any of the stickiness to your hands or skin measure accurate amount of clear resin and hardener by any chance if the hardener quantity is less your resin will not be cured make sure it is very much accurate and if your hardener quantity is too much high your resin will burn it may cause really really bad smell A lot of time you have been seeing a lot of resin artists to use blow torch so i i wanted to talk about it especially if you are a beginner do not use blow torch because uh, sometimes it can be you know the cause of burning your resin instead of it using a heat gun it is very much good and user friendly as well as and last but not the least i received these questions frequently that what kind of cloth we can wear during this resin artwork because we know that resin artwork will destroy your um, you know cloth and t-shirts and shirts whatever it is so i really really like to use a cooking apron or a plastic apron whatever it is available to you you can use that during your resin artwork all right so this is the pigment that i'm talking about the resin pigment it is oil based so make sure you have mixed it from the bottom well before using it uh, with your resin and we need only this much which is you know just having in my stream stick i'm going to mix it with my resin and i'm going to pour it all over to my plate You can spray it with your silicone brush i don't have it with mine so i'm using my hands only to spread it to all over my cloth and then i will wait for uh, at least three to four hours to dry it for you know 40 to 30 percent and then i will go with an another uh, black coat of resin so that uh, my intensity of this black pigment is getting higher
make sure you have used your heat gun after every step to avoid extra bubbles this heat gun is from amazon i will put all the details in the description box and if you're using anything from it's a bit c don't forget to use my coupon code tamali5 to get extra 5% off from any kind of product from it's a bit c Again for my next coat I am going to apply this heat gun. See the air bubbles is completely blurred and it looks really really rich it becomes a mirror actually. to make the waves to make it i am going to use this white resin mixture this is also a resin pigment mixture i'm going to apply it in a very little much amount with my ice cream stick and i'm going to blow it with my heat gun so this process is very much you know ice within if the waves is become perfect so you have to be very patient and clean with your visions that what kind of flow what amount of flow i have to do with my waves so once these waves are looking pretty much good i'm going to apply the same technique on the all the beach area
I'm going to dash some sea shale. This is also from Itsy Bitsy with my silicone glue. And later on, I will attach some of the resin clear mixture on the lower part of this kind of sea shell just to seal them correctly. layer of waves are dried for 30 minutes and now I'm going to use another good coat of black resin and I'm going to layer it off with my waves so this is how you can just layer it again and again it will look really really realistic and it will look amazing make sure uh, you have wear your gloves during this apply because your first layer is not 100% cure so any kind of ice cream stick or the silicone brush can make some strokes so it will be better idea that if you just use your hands with the gloves and apply it very very lightly waves are ready and it set for uh, 30 minutes and now I'm ready to you know just attach my Roman rings this Roman ring is not the acrylic one but it will give you a pure gold finish what I have done I have just applied some glue and my gold flakes and on the back side I have spray painted with the gold color
make sure you have brushed up all the bubbles that is created during this golden roman ring placement and now i will keep it for another 24 hours to dry it completely and let's see the view from the next morning look at this oh my god this look like this shine i love how does it turned out and i have attached another gold clock hands and it really really becomes my one of my favorite art pieces so let me know in the comment sections below that how you like this tutorial and what kind of tutorial or what kind of raising artwork you wanted me to make this next video so I hope you like this. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon and share it with your friends, family, whoever need it. You can also order or customize this kind of clocks from me. All the details for the customization is listed down in the description box. So don't forget to check this out. See you on my next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.